What up, YouTube? Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Now, in today's tarot reading, uh, a little like spirits moving me one by one, because I'm going to tell you right now, today we have three cards. So we have the full. So you have a, a fresh new start, uh, or fresh new beginnings, innocence, the spirit of adventure, idealism, spontaneity, simplicity and a desire to start uh one of the or the the sign involved in this is aquarius like i say things are uh if it's not sp a specific person it could also be the energy of the situation now in my case i happen to be an aquarius so of course this is an air sign and the answer to any question that you might have is yes um uh, it rules the crown chakra, but, uh, and, and that's, that's, there you go. Aquarius rules the crown chakra. Aquarius is very much in thought. Uh, I happen to be an Aquarius and I've heard it said that the world that goes on inside an Aquarius's head versus the world that's outside a world that goes on in Aquarius's head is just, uh, futuristic and, and, and forward, forward thinking, forward moving. Right. Um, but that's the very beginning. Now, personally, if you haven't, like, if you're not already in a new beginning, then I don't know. But uh, I feel like the new beginning, the the full uh, innocence and, and starting adventures and whatnot, I think that's already happened for you i know it's happened for me but I, I think that's already happened for you and so right now uh you're working on the seven of pentacles okay which uh is taurus energy i believe taurus is well taurus is the bull so you bullhead is stubborn earth sign uh the answer to any question you might have right now maybe uh it's actually ruled by Saturn. I didn't know that. And it's a solar plexus thing. So if we if we go off of the fact that Aquarius was a crown chakra thing and that's of the air and mental and so on, what forth, then solar plexus is about your, uh, oh goodness, not your certainty, well, your certainty, but your confidence. There you go. Your confidence resides in your solar plexus, so, you know. Um, but this says long-term success perseverance rewards harvest planning planning results patience and hard work so i think that's where you're at now okay uh i think that the beginning has already the beginning of your adventure and your fresh new start and all that, i think that's already happened i think you're putting in the toil and the labor right now uh to reap your rewards okay um but it looks like if you persevere, uh, you'll get rewards and you'll be rewarded with long time success or lo long time, long term success. Now we have the uh, the nine of uh, staffs as the final card. That's a fire sign. The answer to any question you might have is yes. Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by the moon. And it's your sacral chakra. It says uh, resilience. Oh. Resilience, close to success, courage. Progressive. Uh, stability. So you're almost there already. Even though you think you're in the middle of this and, and you're putting in for long-term success and everything, you're already almost to not the end of the journey, but the part of the journey where everything starts to get good. It all it also says that it is a uh, test of faith. Yep, it's a test of faith. So you're going through this new beginning right now, which like in my case probably would uh, probably would end a lot of people, not physically, but as far as mentally, 
like just having to be here stuck in a jeep staring out at a cold landscape that sort of thing and not having nobody to talk to except youtube uh chances are that would probably mess a few people up uh i think we're at 30 something degrees today so it's actually warmer i feel good about it uh but you're in a moment right now of being uh tested your your faith is being tested it's you started this new beginning and the question is are you going to put in the the work for this new beginning and if you do you'll have long-term success uh but it's it's really just a test of your faith god got something bigger god got something planned for you uh, god's just seeing what you're gonna do okay so So I would say a new adventure uh, brings a test of faith and your resilience and your hard work is going to turn this into a long-term success. Uh, so your best, well, your, number one, your answer is that you're already on the right path because you're doing the work. You're, you're looking for long-term success. You're trying to figure out how that is. But in the final card there, we figure out it's just a test of faith. So that means that you're still going to do the work and you're still going to be responsible and you're still going to own your part. But here soon, God's going to come around and uh, God's going to give you a little pat pat on the butt, get you a little pep in the step and uh, bring you something new or at least help you, uh, help you throughout your situations i it's been it's been several days now there's been several situations that like i just did not think i could get through and long and it's been several times that that's happened like i just it was just impossible and then boom it worked out boom it worked out boom it worked out uh i don't really feel that i had doubts before but for sure i don't have doubts now uh Faith is, faith is hard sometimes. Um, faith can cause you to, you know, you question your faith, you doubt yourself, that sort of thing. But it, it I feel like faith is an evolutionary advantage. I always said, uh, if you drop me off in a desert with another man, right? And the other man doesn't believe in God, doesn't have faith or whatever. At a certain point, that man is just going to sit down and die. Uh, he can't face a desert forever. But with faith, you can. If you have faith and you're in that situation, like, okay, cool. There's a test for me. I'm going to get this thing done, right? Whereas the man who don't have faith, right? Eventually, he's going to be like, this is more than I can do. And he's going to sit down. Whereas the, the person with faith is just going to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. God got something for me just around the next minute, around the next minute, around the next minute. And we may look at that. We may think, well, that poor fool is going to be, you know, fool in the reading. That poor fool is going to be wandering the desert forever thinking God's, something, God's got something for him around the next minute. But I say to you two things. Number one, uh, it's better that than just sitting down, giving up and dying. And, uh. And number two, uh, like I say, it's an evolutionary advantage. Uh, person B, the person who don't believe in, in nothing, he's done set down. You've done left him miles, miles behind. Okay. So uh, maybe this new beginning is actually to do with your faith. Okay. And you've been putting in the work and everything, waiting for something to come through. And now it will. And come to find out you've toiled and you've labored. Uh, and your fruits are about to come. Right? Uh, so keep up the good work. Keep faith. And know that something, something's for you. Just around the next corner. Alright? Alright. Love y'all. Love y'all.